Hey guys, I hope your day is going well. Um, this next reaction we're going to be doing is um, Whiskey Myers Broken Window Serenade. I definitely have never heard of this person and I have never heard of the song. Um, sounds country. I... I know a little bit about country, but I don't know a lot about country. Um, and country has changed a lot over the last few years. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to find out if I don't click on the video and neither will you. So, um, let's get it. Let's see what this Whiskey Myers person is all about. Sounds called Broken Window Serenade. It's, um... I wrote this song about a guy who was in love with a girl growing up and kind of just goes through her life and the stuff she had to deal with and she actually ends up dying oh my God. of uh, amphetamine abuse and it kind of explains the area where we're from really good. So, here it is. Lay a couple of pretty flies That's what I brought to you I saw you through a broken window With a different point of view You had signs of depression From a long line of sin in your face Tells a story about the places you have been I love you so And then muddy water's flowing And as you take my hand past the creek down by the hollow or Through your daddy's land And I could buy you a diamond But I cannot change the world Cause I ain't got no money You'll never be my And a big movie star But you can't catch no bricks, baby And Hollywood is on Now you work down at the time out Off of 155 And you're dancing for your dollar Just trying to stay alive It hurts me so
As they lay you in the grave And I can barely recognize you In your fragile state No more signs of depression From a long time ago I throw in a pretty fly As they slowly laid you low It was a rose Such a beautiful and sad song all at the same time. He's probably about the same age as my youngest son, I would say. Um, I find it very sad um, and I get a little angry, I guess, when I think about um, what uh, this generation their generation, um, I, I mean, I have four kids, um, ranging from, my oldest will be, my oldest will be, uh, 33, mm -hmm. and then I have my young, uh, and then I have a 20, the next one just turned 29 in May, I have another one turning 29 in January, and then the youngest, um, turned 27 in May. Um, what what do these children, I mean, young adults, these people, I mean, they're, I mean, obviously my sons are grown men, you know, 30s and, and late 20s. Um, my 29-year-old son has been married for almost five years now and has three children. Um, and my oldest son, um, who's 33, is about to have his first child. My daughter, who's um, going to be 29 in January, she is married, has been married for a couple years and is about to have her first child. So, yeah, I call them kids, but they're, they're not. And when I think about what is the legacy that they have in, and what is the world that they grew up in? And they grew up, comparatively to me, who I think about what did my sister and I have to worry about? I mean, yes, we, we didn't have a good childhood, but we didn't have a good childhood because the adults in our life were neglectful, were abusive, um, extremely abusive. We were poor. I mean, those were the things that contributed to us to my sister and I not having the greatest of childhoods. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but we could still go out and play until the lights came on. Mm -hmm. You know? And then I think about my children and my nieces and nephews and my grandchildren. You know, I'm about to have my fourth grandchild come into this world. And, and I think about my children. Um, my God. Especially since I'm... I'm a veteran, right? So, um, I mean, when my ex-husband and I joined the military, it was in the 90s. It was just after the Gulf War had ended, or the first Gulf War had ended. And, and um, so it was during peacetime. And, and then, of course, 9-11 happened. And so 
we were there for the whole thing. It was like we were there before and after type of thing. But our children have known, and I think about the young adults that are out there, the, the millennials that I'm always kind of picking on all the time. They have known nothing but a world, a patriot, I call it a Patriot Act world. It's a world built on terror, a terror, a world that almost, yes, you have companies out there that actually feed on people's fears to make money based on this whole idea of national security or and terror because that's all they've ever known the way the world is structured now all they know is post 9-11 all they know is a government that can invade their privacy can go against the fourth amendment and freedom to privacy the, the government can monitor your cell phones they can monitor your you know, which basically gives them the GPS coordinates of where you are. People, oh, every single person has a cell phone these days, and every single cell phone has a GPS tracker in it. You are a walking GPS tracker. But that's not what this song is about. This song is about addiction. I have never, ever seen it this bad ever and why are there so many young people in the world today that are anxious that are depressed that want to take their own lives that want to be addicted to drugs and escape reality do you think there might be some type of correlation between this epidemic of opioid use or any type of drug abuse in suicides or ODs, any type of correlation between those and the fact that all these kids know since the day they were born was terror, terrorists, being afraid all the time. If I grew up that way, where I had to be, a, I mean, I kind of did, but where you, you have to be afraid constantly, doesn't it seem like we're raising kids in this world to, to be almost, almost have PTSD from the time they're born? I mean, and nothing traumatic to that has actually happened to them, but they have to be on their toes constantly. You guys, thank you for um recommending the song um you know that songs like this um messages like this are very important to me when it comes to addiction and suicide and young people in the world today um yes i'm very passionate about stuff like that extremely passionate um so thank you for bringing this song into my life and uh, this artist. I'd really like to hear what else he has. He's got a beautiful voice. Um, he sounds country yet at the same time at the same time he sounds a little more soulful. Um, so I'd like to hear more from him. Um, so thank you. You guys have a great day and remember to comment, like and subscribe and I'm sorry it was a little bit of a downer on this one. It just is an emotional thing for me. Um, I actually have a child that was an addict. So that's why. Um, and I almost died in the war. So the whole thing's just kind of a little, you know, kind of rubs me a little, you know. Anyway. You guys have a fantastic day and take care of each other because no one else is going to. Ciao.